Well, welcome back to Ben Sushi Life Learning. In this episode, we're gonna try to study this article by uh, Chris uh, Lesage. It's um, basically an article on geometry patterns in Python. So this is a really good article. I recommend you to have a, have a read. Um, it's about Python generator and how you can use Python to generate numbers just by itself. Like um, he made a couple of like, a, it's a basic shape, but it's, it's also kind of interesting. Uh, such as the the gear. The gear is like a, basically this a sawtooth wave, but it's, it's that goes in a circular kind of way. And there's also the spiral. We can already make spiral and sine wave using sphere chalk, for example. Um, there's also star pattern. And yeah, all this you can actually create using um, Python and using some something called a generator. This is actually kind of new for me. And um, it can be more raw than this, I think. If you, instead of looking at the, the Python codes, if you look through inside it, there's a, a, an algorithm, like some kind of math, some kind of uh, procedure. But anyhow, uh, so there's a bunch of uh, algorithm that we can use uh, in Blender. So I have three here that I, I already con converted um, into um, square chalk script node. So I get this uh, spiral with a start and end radius with the density that I can control. So that's working fine. There's also this uh, this uh, seesaw sawtooth. Yep, so it's actually just like kind of like ups and down in, in the zero and one, between zero and one. But it's kind of interesting. Once you are able to create this, then you can perhaps find just other other kind of algorithm and then try to try to recreate it in Blender. Because uh, what's the what the Python generator is doing is really to to generate uh, points. So if vector points in two D or three D. In this case, it's just like a two D points. But anyhow, uh, let's try to create this. Uh, this gear, for example, I think the gear is slightly more complex and it has uh, these parameters. Gears, inner radius, outer radius, gear ratio. I believe we already have gears uh, somewhere and we can al actually build it using using nodes, but uh, I'll create it from scratch. File, save as, sp, gears, uh, demo. So it's just a different way to think of procedural pattern and try to generate it. So of course you can approach this problem in many different ways, but this is a uh, very, very interesting. So I'll call this SNL gears.py. It's gonna be SNL, a uh, script node light. And I, al I already have some kind of template here, of course but I need to make some kind of modifications because currently what it's doing is if I source this, it's generating the, the sawtooth pattern, right? If I use the UV connections, UV connects, connection simply connects the, the dots. So it creates that, but we want to turn it into this gear. Of course, you can have a read and have a study of this, but uh, I will just gonna copy this, copy paste and later on we can see this is like a Python Python code that generate list of numbers. So I'm just gonna paste it here. It's the functions that's generating um, the gear save. So I need to make sure I have the correct parameter. So gears in a radius, outer radius, okay, gears. I'm just gonna copy this very, very quickly. I call this gears and then default maybe eight, or maybe seven, and then nested, doesn't matter. And then we need to have inner radius and outer radius. So inner radius and 
outer outer radius value doesn't matter let's make it like that and lastly we need to have gear ratio gear ratio i'm not sure maybe it's a maybe it's a floating value as well try 0 0.5 and yeah i think that's pretty much done let me reload oh it's actually giving me giving an error no data pass into socket vertices oh, okay because the functions has changed the function name has changed it's become gear pattern and uh, with all these parameter so i'm just gonna drop it here under the function list because what's really happening is that if we if we just copy all this and then paste it into python console this is all our functions right with import math if we just run it here uh, yeah all right if I use um, a text and then if I run the functions just like the example here if I run a script what I will get is just like a, it's telling me okay um, this is just a function that you're trying to run but if we print it out and put it inside the list it's gonna list out all the the numbers that is generating there you go that's all the vectors it's actually XYZ kind of values that you can use in Sphereshop of course so that's the original code um, and I will actually just copy this because that's the source I always want to leave credits Probably at some point, Chris Lesage probably either he find the algorithm and then kind of translate it into Python or he made it himself. Anyhow, let's get back to our SNL gears. We already assigned the code here, so reload. Hopefully this works. Oh, still giving me an error. No data pass into the socket. There we go. I have too many brackets. All right. Ah, there you go. That's our gears. It's becoming suddenly becoming kind of a little bit clearer. What that's what what is this is actually doing, right? Now we have control over the inner, outer, and the gear ratio. So this in itself, uh, the functions generate points, and then the points goes into this UV connections and perhaps we need to make a little bit of changes in order to make this works for our instead of the just the edges we need to have the polygon and turn on and go on if we bake it out we probably have a working shape although I have a feeling that we need to also remove double somewhere here So remove double yeah remove one vertices that means there's a there is one there is one overlapping uh, vertices so we probably want to get rid of that so if we list item I think we can get the last points and plug the others yeah I think this is correct
Hmm, we, we might need to slice it, but yeah, I think we need to get rid of one vertices somehow. The easiest is, of course, just to plug in remove double here, but it's, it's not not the most elegant because we just need to get rid of one. So this will work. Just bake it. And this you can just use a solidify. But of course we also have solidify inside square chalk. There we go. And everything is procedural, so we can change that. If we like, we can also bevel it and etc. But uh, uh, yeah, there's pretty much it. It's basically to try to translate um, this Python code. The, the Python code itself is just like like I'd say generating points, and we can't really see anything unless unless we print out the value or use the value for something else. With a Chris such, I think he uses Maya and use Maya or other 3D program to actually turn the points just connect the dots and it becomes these shapes just like what we are doing here um, this is just the basic shapes of course but there are a lot there are a lot of algorithm out there and some people already turn it into Python code and they use it uh, in different software package but if you if you have time and then just translate it into uh, something like nodes Anyone then can simply use it. You can you, you can tell like you can share it online and then other people can use it and it's gonna it's gonna be useful for everyone. So that's uh that's the main point of this. Even though uh, if if I have some time, of course I want to study this and then okay, this is how you make gears. Apparently, you're basically just uh using the functions and then you get you get to the points where in this case. Of course, it's generating. It's using a Python uh, generator objects. There's like yield or something. Uh, that part is kind of tricky, but uh, oh, okay, this part yield. So it's kind of like maybe accumulating the data or something. Um, it that's in itself is creating like a nodes. Uh, all I. All I do here is just converting it into nodes very, very quickly using Spreadshop script nodes. Uh, in the end, you get something like this. I will share all the, the converted nodes um, at GitHub. Um, hopefully, this one is useful. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.